It's the most pressured moment in basketball when everyone looks to one player to deliver. And just like that. Hello, I'm Ricky Hickman, and I'm going to show you how to shoot a free throw. First thing I do when I come to the free throw line is I'll look uh, to see if they have a nail. Usually they have a nail that kind of shows the middle from the, the backboard to the free throw line. And I'll find my foot and I'll line it up, kind of get shoulder width apart. And then I'll just roll the ball, take a deep breath, and then take two dribbles, bend my knees, and shoot it and just make sure that I hold my follow through up there. And more times than not, it'll hopefully go in. Sometimes if you don't use your legs and you just use your upper body, the ball will go too far, you know, it'll bounce off the back of the rim. So you want to make sure you're in balance and, you know, you're using your legs. And, and once you go up, you want to finish on your tiptoes and leave it up there. I've always been taught is, you know, aim for the back of the rim. So I, my, my thing is when I receive the ball, I'm looking at the back of the rim and I take my two dribbles and I usually don't take my eye off the back of the rim. Ricky Hickman likes to take his points that way. In college, like my first year, I was struggling with free throws, and my coaches just told me, you know, just find a ritual and stick to it because I would miss a couple of some games, change it the next game, and he was just like, the matter, the rest of the season, no matter what you do, just stick with the same routine. If you miss the rest of them, the rest of the season, I don't care. I just don't want you to change your routine, and that's what I did. And ever since then, I've been using the same routine since college. But even the best missed from time to time. I, I definitely notice when it's going to miss, you know, I can just feel it in the, the whole flow of it. Sometimes people, you know, when they miss free throws, they're thinking about it a lot of the times. That causes you to miss it. You know, a lot of times it's guys trying to compensate for missing the first one, or, and sometimes they end up missing the second one as well. But it's all about nailing it when the pressure is on. 2014 EuroLeague Final, I was at Maccabi, we were playing Madrid. When we was in overtime, I would say like the last two minutes and a half were all just pressure free throws. Those free throws were definitely, you know, I would say top of my list is most crucial. 